Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, we're going to talk about the ULNZ PT21 code shoe mount extension and the ULNZ brand new design C1X2 for the Insta360 1X2. So now let's get started and go straight to them. Look at that. I'm just so glad to share with you all this update on the ULNZ co-design with the Insta360. Let's talk about this one. I have purchased two of them. It's a PT21 because I think that for those of you who are interested in this code shoe mount extension, you should purchase two of them to maximize your potential with the 360 cameras. So on each one of the box, you're going to have a one of the PT21 code shoe mount extension. So this one works harmoniously well with the Insta360 One X2. As you can find that the curvature design is exactly follow the design of the Insta360 One X2. So by installing like this and with the selfie stick, you're gonna have one of the code shoe mount on the side of the One X2. Uh, you can use one of them and place it on the other side of the battery door because it will not block the battery door. So this is a nice design. For those of you who want to have an invisible light setup, as I've mentioned before in my pre previous video with the double VR30, uh, you can purchase another one of them and place on the other side of the battery door and now we're going to have double code shoe mount. But more than that, if you have a 360 camera but that is not One X2, you can use that invert on this orientation that I have shared with you on Facebook. I have successfully put my invisible light setup on the Kukam AK C31 with this setup. As you can find, you can use it invertly so that it doesn't matter which camera you have. You now with this double code shoe mount adapter, not only will not block any of the socket, will not block the battery door, but you can put two of the light on this one side. So you can put double VR30 on left and right, turn them on simultaneously, you're gonna have an invisible light setup without blocking any of the socket in the One X2. Must get familiar with my colorful edition of Insta360 One X2 because I have dropped my camera accidentally to the ground. You can see I have scratched my frame of the One X2 and also the surface. So I purchased the stickers from the website and put it on myself so that I have refurnished my One X2. Now it is just very colorful and very beautiful. Okay, so for the PT21, if you want to use double of them, you're gonna be careful with the, with the thickness of this accessory because with this uh, selfie stick, it's just the accordion thread is not long enough. You'd better uh, remove rubber of the selfie stick and twist as hard as you can to make it more reliable for you. So for the PT21, I think it must have for 360 camera shooters, no matter you are using the One X2 or not. Uh, although it was designed for the One X2, but it is a universal accessory for all 360 cameras. So this is the part one. Okay, so next up, let's talk about this ULNZ C One X2 metal cage, brand new design, and it is very smart in every detail. So in the package, you're gonna have a rubber lens cap together with the metal frame of this metal cage. The weightness of the metal cage is only 60 grams. It's around 20 grams lighter compared with the small rig that is official design of the N360. So it is 20 grams lighter than the unity frame you can purchase on the N360 website. It is lighter and more functional. As you can see that there are more great features packed in this metal cage. As you can see, let's put out Let's put this Insta360 One X2 into the metal frame. Just align in this direction and lock the door on the side. So now I'll take you through all the great details in the design of this metal cage. So first thing first, let's talk about the bottom design. It is a foldable GoPro mount with a cording thread in the middle. And the thickness is really, really great. So it will protect your camera very well, but also it will not interfere with any uh, quick release clamp, or selfie stick, because the cordon thread is just deep enough to be compatible with all of the accessories. And you can also fold as a GoPro mount so that you can use that compatible with all of the GoPro accessories. Considering it has a cordon thread in the middle already, so it will not include the anti-twist design because also the bottom design is 
a much narrower compared with other uh, metal frame as in the boosted battery cage. So the design of the bottom is excellent. And on the metal frame, you can see the brand name and the C1X2. And I think this the designer should have chosen a, a better looking font. It's just not Times New Roman, but it should be something better looking font. On the right, here on the right, only a single coastal mount, but on the side of the coastal mount, we also have a quarter-inch thread that is deep enough to fit a selfie stick. Because with the One X2, it also has a single lens shooting mode as a horizontal lock. You can rotate, so when you use that horizontally, this coastal mount will be a very powerful adapter for the microphone or for the light setup. For this side, you can see now all of them is empty. So it will not block your battery door. So it is the most amazing part of the metal cage design because with the Insta360 official Unity frame, uh, it will block the battery because it has the dual coastal mount on the left and right. But now with a single coastal mount on the side, on the other side, we lose some weight and at the same time, we don't have to block a battery door. And also with this uh, charging port or with the Stenova microphone adapter, everything works just perfect. The designer of the metal cage is very smart. You can see the four microphones, the one, two, three, four. This should be at the place there should be and it will not be blocked by the metal cage. So it is a clever design and with the top open chain mechanism, you can put the camera in and out very easily. And the curvature design of the inner side of the metal cage is just follow the real camera body. So it will just feel very fluent and very robust. On the top of the metal cage, there's also another coastal mount where you can put a light like this, or you can put a microphone or anything you want. And there are something new accessory designed for 360 camera coming in the future that will make take the full advantage of this cultural mount. So stay tuned on my coming video. The metal cage is invisible in the final video. And if you take a closer look at the frame, you can see the chamfer, the chamfer all around the body. So this chamfer will guarantee that this metal cage totally invisible in the final shot and also reduce the weight and also improve the comfortability in your hand. So when you hold this in your hand, just feels smooth on the side. It just feels great. Pouch is not compatible anymore. So with this lens cap, you can protect your lens with ease. But be careful with this lens cap because it will fit really tight with your lens and it will probably uh, scratch your lens if you're uh, if you move it too fast. So for personally speaking, I would prefer to preserve the metal cage individually differently on the other side. I, I would rather put the metal cage as a standalone accessory and assemble when I want to use that. And because with this pouch, I can protect my lens and the touch screen very, very safely. And more than that, I also have a very interesting accessory pouch, this design. It is a, a zipper and uh, when you put the one XO inside that, it is just so beautiful. And is very hard. So I think this is perhaps the best design for the One X2, a protective case, and on the bottom, you can also put the selfie stick in and out. So I highly recommend you can purchase this one. And this one is even cheaper compared with the rubber lens protection. And I'm so glad to share with you all this great update from U Lens. So this accessory gonna take your One X2 to the next level and make your One X2 even more powerful, even more adaptive to a wide range of shooting scenario. So I'm gonna put all this link down in my video description so that you can help yourself, you can find more info on that. And uh, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So, so upcoming next is a new invisible light with dual LED panel, and it's invisible in the final shot. So want to know more about this light? See you in my next video. Bye.